So experience today's program is experience the divine Shakti and blessing of Ma. We all want to have only one dream, which we all have a one dream. How can we experience the divine Shakti? How, at least during the Navratri time, we want to get the blessing from Ma. We want to experience her. So with Guruji's blessing, we are here, we are together, and we are blessed. So thank you, Pranam Guruji, Swami Hariharji Maharaj. With your blessing, we are all here together. So first question comes, how did Ma come? How did, was she brought in? How was she born? What was the need for it? And as our scriptures go with the stories, once upon a time, it says, according to Gita Puran, according to Devi Puran, that more than 5,000 years ago, many, many years ago, Devi Devtas were tortured and disturbed their living by devils, Rakshasas which is a story all the time. Devils and fight between devils and divine. And they went to pray Vishnu Bhagwanji. And Vishnu Bhagwanji heard their prayers. And then he and all the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh all got together, heard their complaints. And they knew also this was Mahishasur, the devil, and many others, Chamundai and many, many other devils. They could not be conquered. They were actually, Mahishasur was boon that he could not be conquered by any male Shakti. So they created a female Shakti. And that female Shakti, all three of them gave their energy and created a Maki Shakti, which is called Ma Durga. And all this Trinity, all Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, one of the message to me is that many times, even the male Shakti cannot conquer it, but feminine Shakti could conquer it. So this female Shakti, the feminine Shakti was created, which is called Durga. The Trinity. And since it came from the, mainly from the three Shaktis, so the first Shakti was to remove the obstacles, which was Ma Durga. And then whenever it was needed, it was Ma Lakshmi. Because Binna Ma Lakshmi ke bhi zindagi nahi chalti hai. Durgati dur karne wali ki bhi binna Durgati, we have many Durgatis in our life and they also be conquered by Durga, Ma Durga. Its wise name is Ma Durga. Durgati Dur Karnevali. And Shakti Denevali. And then the Brahmas, uh, Shankarjis, Lakshmi, Parvati. One Shakti took many forms as it was needed. 
and then the Saraswati, the wisdom. Who... So Trinity, the Durga Ma, the removal of our miseries, Lakshmi Ma, which gives us the prosperity, wealth, sustains the energy, and then Saraswati, wisdom. So, Tino ko milake, Durga Shakti, Lakshmi Shakti Bhakti, and Saraswati Mukti. So, by praying to Ma, by experiencing living in her consciousness, we attain Shakti, Bhakti, Mukti, love, peace, Anandam, and finally realize who we are. So, this Shakti. was created. And these are the eight arms of Ma. As you can see, on the very first one on the right, she has the chakra, was given to her by Vishnu Bhagwan. And the message here is that always Practice righteousness, Vishnu Bhagwan ka chak, Shri Krishna Bhagwan ka chak. It comes only when the unrighteous is there. So we must practice, learn from Ma's teaching that live the righteous life. And then coach was given to her. Because many Devi Devtas came and they gave all, everybody gave her a different, different tools to create that Shakti. So the coach was given to her, which means whatever we do in our life, we do righteously, but we do it with happiness, not because I have to do it. Do it with love, peace, anandam. Even if we are making dinner, we are doing puja, whatever we are doing, we should do it happily. And then the another hand has the sword. We should have a discrimination. What we want, what we should cut off from our life and what we should keep. In other words, calm, crow, low, mohankar, our five enemies, jealousy, resentment, we should all cut off what to do, what not to do. That's what the symbol is about the sword. And then trident was given to by Shivji. And this is a symbol of, again, the Trinity, but the courage. And then the club, symbol of Hanumanji, loyalty, bhakti. So we should, whatever we do, we do it with love and compassion, with bhakti not just with our mind, but with our heart. And then the another one, here, look at, here, she was given Ram Bhagwanji's. <clears throat> this is a symbol of bow. And here, so, this is a symbol of Ram Charitra. Whatever we should do, but we should not discriminate. We should not compromise with our character. When I was growing up, somebody gave me such a beautiful four-liner phrase. And he said that if you have lost something, you have lost nothing. If you have lost some money, you have lost nothing. If you have lost health, yes, you have lost something. But if you have lost your character, you have lost everything. And that become a motto in my life. So all these Ma's eight arms are teaching us whatever was given to her, there was a purpose behind it. And each one, look at this. Then she had the lotus in her hand. Means we should do whatever this world is. Is get the your nutrients like she got it from teacher, from mud, but 
lotus still smiles and gives a smile to the world. Similarly, this world, Mrityume Sansar, is full of difficulties, challenges, but like a lotus, we should smile and do whatever we need to do it. And then, once we practice that, then mass blessing comes, and that is forgiveness. So whatever happens in our life, sometimes we misbehave certain things knowingly, unknowingly, and some other people have done something to us to hurt us, or we have hurt us. Learn to forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgive is the best medicine, best ointment to heal our hurts. So once we learn all these and practice the teachings of Ma, then we qualified to get her blessing, experience her divinity. And then she's sitting on a lion, the sign of courage. And look at her red color. And I have wore the red color shawl too today. So red color is the color of passion. Whatever you do, do it with heart and soul. So teaching of these go eight golden teachings of Ma, if we bring that in our life, then we experience our blessings. And then this Trinity, again, as I explained before, sometimes Ma becomes Durga, sometimes becomes Lakshmi, sometimes becomes Saraswati. It's the one Shakti. That's the divine Shakti which flows within us. So many ways it has been practiced. How to practice it? Now Durga is celebrated all over the world. It's not just an Indian festival. And it is the recognition, honoring the feminine Shakti. India is the only country where the feminine energy is worshiped in many different forms. And it is being celebrated in many different ways. But it comes twice a year, once in October, no, I'm, uh, September, October, and once in March, April, which is called Chetri Navratri, which is affiliated with the Ram Nomi. The other one is with Dashera. So, Honoring Ma, practicing Ma's golden teachings. How are these done? Basically, the one thing I remember from very childhood, fasting. Fasting from the food, be vegetarian. And vegetarian also limited just fruits and vegetables. So always eat healthy vegetarian food. But the fasting does not limit to our only food. It becomes fasting of the whole nine days. So we should fast from the companies. In other words, we should refrain ourselves from the companies who might bring us down, who might say, Devi ki puja kyo? Why Devi? We should puja. Ramji, we puja Krishna Bhagwanji, they are the supreme and they are the Narayan. But we should remember that in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says the whole universe is made with matter and energy. Jeev Atma, Shiv Shakti, body is Shiv, but Shakti ke bina Shiv Shav hai, Shakti ke bina body dead body hai. And the body which flows in us, the, the energy which flows in us, that is the supreme power which operates the whole universe. So, and this energy, when it is in the body, it gets tangled with our attachment, with our upsetness, with our ego, with our complaints, jealousy, greed. And it gets tarnished. It gets in covered. So that our true nature gets covered because our energy has been covered with all these 
काम क्रोध लो मो अंकार संसारिक यू नो वर्ल्डली थिंग्स एंड वी हैव टू अनमास्क इट अनकवर इट and these are the twice comes near to rejuvenate us remind us that cleanse your body cleanse your shakti this is the time for us to self transform so how we should have a company of good people read scriptures whatever suits to us and mass teaching practice the mass teachings we will go into that five monkeys over there but do yoga meditation prayers develop the divine qualities gita says have many 26 divine qualities but here the forgiveness mass once we forgive also ahimsa once we practice kisi ko hurt nahi karna that's why during this time it's a totally vegetarian you don't want to eat anything which comes from the heart of some other soul other living being you have to be totally vegetarian so ahimsa practice karni hai forgiveness practice karni hai contentment practice karni hai many divine qualities and then have a full faith in yourself ma ke faith se you know we we try to have a faith in the supreme power but unless we have a faith in ourselves that courage which ma gives us and then surrender and let go do your best and let go and then we can experience love peace anandam satchit anandam so here are here is the nine days self purification self transformation blissful journey why it is called blissful journey the life is a journey but nine days that may, let's make it as a blissful journey to experience the divine shakti by fasting and fasting not just by fasting our mouth food but fasting how we fast these are the five monkeys as i mentioned think good dhyay to vishan punsa we should dhyay we should always think about the best and how live in consciousness of ma practice goodness whatever we do we do the best of the best righteous living and here is the how we practice goodness by thinking good by seeing good rather than judging other people and looking the shortcomings of other people we should think always find something good everybody has something good that's why god created people everything has something good we say it winter mein hum kehte hain are sardi bahut kharab hai but think about it in summer we miss that sardi same thing we in garm sardi we said garmi we said garmi bahut kharab hai so you know so we always judge at that time this food is bad this person is bad this always judging 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 and if we just learn one thing from mom teachings stop judging others just find something good in them and also do not give your ears to bad energy which is hearing bad and not only with mouth we eat good food but we should practice the silence and of course this is karm your hands karma yog so these nine days are the jagrati time which i call it jagrati you know whenever we jag you know we do the jagrati in mid it is celebrated by praying by jagrati to other people by or by doing the jagrans and by praying and fasting in many other ways and dancing and all that but jagrati means whenever we awaken jab jag gaya woh savera hai and then ma another form of jyoti so jyoti comes the light comes within and when we feel we are aware who we are the light comes within us and then we enjoy it. so these nine days practicing of mass teaching through meditation connecting with ma and here i put it very first day is the tatak meditation in other words you meditate on mass shakti mass murti mass shakti why because through that 
because nine days right now we are worshiping the sakar roop of ma where we want to be connected with her and by gradually during nine days we will reach to her nirakar roop by meditating her divine light divine shakti so every day but to start with tatak meditation meditate on ma's murti merge with that and then you feel the energy of ma and then that murti disappears that sakar roop disappears and gradually by gradually by practicing next day like today is the second day meditation on light then third day meditation on love and compassion for for their forgiveness and then here meditation on goodness practice 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 and then silent next day is a practice of silence whole day maybe just practice a silence full faith have a full faith let practice surrender let go and humiliate gratitude fir aathve din hum kanjike karte hain and then the liberation comes we are free from ego we are we free from our shortcomings so this is this is a good calendar i it is on list on my website but i will post it and you can just practice you can download it and eventually then we get out of we become three f's we get out of fear we become fear free abhe we have a more faith in ourselves and finally we come to the freedom the liberation so these nine days to live in ma's shakti in summary this is the time for us to self improve self develop self transform by purifying ourselves by practicing this ma's teachings so these are the nine days of self discipline and self control living in self awareness what am i doing why am i doing who am i i am the div- i am that pure energy and think positive speak good eat good hear good and do good do selfless service seva and love all serve all satya sai baba's favorite slogan and then help ever hurt never forgive yourself and others do not complain and criticize give more and expect less relax smile enjoy and be thankful and how we celebrate the thankful ashtmi and nomi ke din ashtmi ke din we do kanjike kanjike is the form of divine shakti the pure kyun kanjikon ko poojte hain because they are young they are the pure souls the sign of purity that these kanjike we are the we have become pure like in these eight days like kanjike and then we unki pooja karte hain we worship them because they, they represent the divine shakti and then once we practice all that then the pure energy is born the blessing comes which is in the form of ram nomi ram is born that shakti that purity is born within us this is the right, right now these are the first nav durga but the second nav durga is by doing this our ego comes down our this ravan ke jo these are not the 10 heads of ravan these are to me these are the 10 heads of my 10 heads and by practicing one by one by one try to eliminate and when these are removed then we can celebrate the shera so removal of ego and nine vices calm crowd low mo ankar jealousy complaining resentment all these jitne bhi vikar hai vishe vikar mitao paap haro deva sharda bhakti badao santan ki seva so when these vikar vishe vikar are disappeared dissolve we transform and we experience the divine shakti so i like to share this poem which some of the i know some of the uh, are non hindi speaking are 
in the audience but i please forgive me i can explain you later but this is the fav my favorite poem which says he mere malik zindagi bakshi hai to jeene ka salika salika bhi bakhsh zuban bakshi hai mere malik meri maa to sacche alfaz bhi bakhsh sabhi ke andar teri jyoti dikhe aisi tu mujhe nazar bhi bakhsh kisi ka dil na meri wajah se dukhe aisa ehsaas bhi tu mujh mein bakhsh aapke charan kamal mein main lagi rahu ye meri maa aisa dhyan bhi bakhsh rishte jo banaye meri maa usme attu pyar bhi tu bhar zimmedariyan bakhshi hai meri palan haar usko nibhane ki samajh bhi bakhsh ye meri maa ye mere malik बेक बख्श और एक और एहसान कर दे जो कुछ है वो तेरा ही तो है फिर इस मेरी मैं को भी बख्श सो वी प्रे टू मा दट एलोन वी कैन नॉट डू इट वी आर आस्किंग फॉर यूर ब्लेसिंग यूर हेल्प दैट टू प्रैक्टिस यूर टीचिंग and then we experience the ultimate love peace ananda and once we experience it then it comes within us then it flows to our family members to our community to our nation and to the whole universe with the one motto satya sai baba ji love all serve all hurt ever, hurt never help ever so navratri is not just to celebration and dancing and doing jagran but it is much more than that it is a celebration but it is a time for rejuvenation self transformation experiencing love peace anandam and share with others so before we go to the meditation part i had a sankalpa in other presentation but somehow it's it, it disappears so our sankalpa for today is that at least for 9 days i will live in the consciousness of ma in other words i will do as much meditation as possible i will practice her teachings as much as possible even if i'm working then i will use my practices with righteousness with happiness with courage with discrimination with love and compassion and forgive myself and forgive others and accept the challenges of my life and pray to her for giving me enough courage so since it is the second day today we will do the meditation on jyoti ma jyoti tamso ma jyotir gamya so thank you very much for joining me ma durga mother goddess shower her blessing of health happiness peace and prosperity on all of you and the family members and the whole universe